before uh, I uh, wrap up the, the uh, open forum section, uh, I would like to afford my colleagues here if they would like to make a, a statement or uh, uh, an observation. Uh, we'll uh, start on my, uh, this is going to be kind of odd for me to say, start on my left, uh, my far left actually, probably the uh, uh, Mr. Phelps, and if we could just go down the line and uh, Thanks, Mayor. I mean, all I'd say is thank you for showing up and for uh, speaking your mind. We obviously have um, a variety of uh, opinions that have been expressed, all of which, uh, knowing the city manager as I do, uh, will be taken under consideration. Uh, Dave's a very um, considerate and deliberate man, and I know um, what has been said is not lost on him. So thank you. Ms. Gross. Mike, your mic. Sorry. Um, I just want to say thank you for coming this evening and sharing your viewpoint. Ms. Bailey. Um, I want to thank everyone as well. I obviously support the farmer's market. I think we all recognize um, what it brings to the community and to the citizens. It's a, it's a huge benefit for all of us, and, and we know that. Um, but obviously there are strong feelings on both sides of this issue. Um, not all of which have been expressed here tonight. Dave has been working tirelessly to try and accommodate this and to reach a resolution to this uh, for a long time now and will continue to do so. And he has heard much more than what he's heard tonight um, over the last few weeks. So this is but a, a sort of microcosm of what um, the, the sentiment is in the community and we have to rely on uh, what Dave can come up with. I do think this the farmer's market has grown so much that, that maybe in some ways has outgrown the Jackson Street market. I don't know that it accommodates 40 vendors at this point, um, but I also don't know what I'm talking about. That's why we have Dave to um, look at all this and, and weigh the options and figure out what the best thing to do is. Um, but I do appreciate everybody coming out and expressing your views. Uh, Vice Mayor Sattel. Thank you, Mayor. Again, thanks everyone for coming out. I have my Mardi Gras beads on because I'm hoping to go home and celebrate Mardi Gras after I leave here. Uh, but thanks again for coming out. Um, let me say um, a couple things. Um, I hope it's perfectly clear to everybody that we are not trying to get rid of the farmer's market. Um, why would we want to do that? Um, so sometimes there's some uh, innuendo that that's what we're doing there's no hidden agenda there we want to keep it and as tim canada said at the beginning this is all about where is the best location for our farmers market and we have so many stakeholders involved here we have our downtown businesses we have the farmers market owners and their vendors we have the residents and people who have to drive through loveland so there's a lot of people involved here. It's not, it's not quite an easy decision. I did want to say, though, I think Mr. Drew said City Council made a decision, and that is not true at all. City Council has not made a decision. We've not voted or anything, because that is out of our purview. Uh, we have a city manager. That's why we have a city manager. He takes care of the day-to-day -day operations of the city. He's an employee of the city. Um, he is someone who is very thoughtful, he's very unassuming, but he's very thoughtful and he's working very hard to come up with a solution. But it's not just our solution, it has to be a solution that involves the owners of the farmer's market and the city manager. Those are the two main people who are involved here. Okay, We can all give our opinion, but when final analysis is done those are the two people that are going to have to get together and come up with a decision and I'm very confident I know um, they have been talking this isn't something that just came up overnight they've been talking about it for a while I know they're continuing to talk about it and I feel very confident that Mr. Kennedy and the owners of the farmers market will be able to come up with some some amicable resolution um, I know everybody has mentioned they want to go back to Jackson Market. I think there's only 10 stalls there, and there were like close to 40 vendors. So it's going to be kind of difficult to get all those people in that Jackson Market. So nobody really has addressed that. So I would um, 
like you guys to keep that in your mind. That's not a big as a venue as everybody's talking about. And I would like to know how you would fit all those 40 people in there. But anyway, um, those are some of my thoughts. I'm sure there will be um, more discussions um, between the two people that really have to make that decision. So uh, thanks again for coming. I'm going to uh, here momentarily uh, allow for a little bit of a break in case a anyone wants to leave. But before I do that, I, I want to call to your attention, particularly those of you who are uh, residents and taxpayers here in Loveland, we do have uh, extensive uh, agenda items to uh, uh, address and we would love for those of you who would be so inclined to stay and listen because as an example we have and this may sound somewhat pedestrian a SCADA software purchase well essentially what that is is that's the software that runs our water system and for any of you who have seen the tragedy and the travesty that's going on in, uh, in Flint uh, know how important water is uh, the managers also procured with the uh, police chief a, uh, a